Hello, I am Mr Plum. We are Plum and Plumber. And it's another weekend. Get in. Roll titles. <laughs> What are we doing today? Well, today is diff day. So what I decided to do, I want to get in there and clean up that aluminium back panel as much as I possibly could, get in the Dremel, get in all the attach. Do you know how many attachments I went through cleaning that panel? Now, the back plate, I spent an unhealthy uh, amount of time cleaning it all off, getting through all the things, getting round the old recesses for the bolts, got in there, spent ages. Now, I'll show you. This is how many attachments I went through. And a lot of it is embedded into my merch. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine. Ten. Ten. Although I consider them sacrificial because I, it's the only thing that will get in there, get rid of all that oxidisation and bring it, bring it back to bright metal. Hang on, let me have a slurp. Oh, that's a touch. Cool, gasping. Yeah, so that was the only thing that I could find that will get in there and really get it out. So yeah, there's no point using a flippy flappy wheel because that will just scratch it. I didn't want to scratch it. So these things are considered sacrificial. So I consider them as a bit of an investment in, in the, the, the preparation for that back plate. So yeah, so what I did after that, I thought, well, how am I going to stop that oxidizing? Now, remember the stuff I showed you before? ACF 50, so it's like an anti-corrosion film, if you like. The F is for formula, but we'll use the word film. So as you'll probably see in this picture, just sprayed it over it, and what that would do is just dry, a little bit tacky, but it will stop it oxidizing. Then it was on to the body of the disc, disc, diff, diff, which is cast. So I just got the wheel all over that protecting the back plate of course and then I thought right onto the Paw 15 which as you know by now is a um, anti-rust uh, corrosion treatment anti-rust corrosion treatment anti-corrosion treatment so yeah painted that on you you're well tuned to that now um, got it all on there and then washed it all off then dried it so you got this nice dull like sort of gunmetal colour and then it was onto the hammerite uh, red oxide. So, as you will see, all oh, right, no, see, let me flip it around. So, there you go. Get my drink out of the way. <sighs> yeah, so there we go. So, that's the top. I'm doing the underside first, let that dry, flip it over, then do the top side. And as you can see on here, this is the back plate with the treatment now on there. Now, when you compare that to how it used to look, you can appreciate all the work that's got into that. So yes, so plan is, yeah, I'll flip it over when that side's dry and then do the top side of it. And let me bring you back here. All right, uh, let me bring you back. Then I'll do another coat of red oxide primer and then it's on to my favorite hammerite smooth oh now i don't think i'm going to get the same finish as i did on the um trailing arms and the subframe because that is cast so it's ripply so you're not going to get a nice smooth finish but it will give it a nice sheen um so yeah that's basically the sun's out oh, i might have to go and cut the grass so yeah that's basically it 
Um, I've got to bake some more planters from Mrs. Plum. Uh, the ones outside, hugely successful. Queues of people up and down the road saying, where did you purchase such wonderful planters? Made them. Yeah, so I've got to make up some more, but these ones are pre uh, prefabricated, if you like, so I just need to uh, connect them together. Won't be as good as mine, of course. So, yeah, I am Mr. Plum. We are Plum and Plumber. And I'm two things away. I do, because I'm painting a diff. And I shall see you painting a diff.